Okay, so um, one thing that I've noted here is about a uh, comfort zone, okay? So imagine you're here in the center of the circle and you want to get to here, okay? So it's important that with these goals, you're going to have to do things um, where you're going to take yourself out of your comfort zone, okay? As you come out of your comfort zone, you might feel a bit anxious, okay? But then you will acclimatize to that. Your comfort, your comfort zone is expanded, and then you will try and expand it again, okay? That's where the growth is, from the center to the edge of the circle. So let's use the weights, for example, okay? For those who do the weights. In order to, in order to create muscle tone, okay, we have to stress the muscle groups. So if we go to the gym, and just do the exercises. <coughs> Let's just say we do 15 reps at the same weight four times, okay? Now for the first session, you might get a response from that, your muscles will feel a bit sore, okay? But after another two sessions, your muscles aren't gonna really respond because they're acclimatized to it, it's comfortable, it's easy, okay? <clears throat> and some people will say, oh, the weights are too heavy, the weight the weights are too heavy. What happens is, when we add weight in those exercises, you're gonna lose your technique, okay? That's just the downside of trying to get heavier and stronger. You're gonna lose some technique. But after a couple of goes, if you're practicing it, okay, eventually you'll get stronger, you'll get better with the movements, your technique will become better. You'll do that for a period, then you can add more weight, okay? But if we stay here and do four sets at the same weight, um, 15 reps, four sets, you're not gonna get anything out of it. So with the weights, it's important that you try and push a little bit each session. If you wanted to do public speaking, okay, you'd have to try and get up. I know it might be uncomfortable, but you might, you're gonna have to try and get up in front of maybe two or three people and try and do some kind of public speech, okay? Maybe you read something from a book or something like that. Then as you acclimatize to that, you try five or 10 people and you read something different with a bit longer, okay? So you have to try in order to, to get what you want, you have to try and take yourself out of, your, out of your comfort zone, okay? So now that you've got that 90 day plan, what you're gonna achieve in 90 days, what does it look like, what does it, what does it feel like, etc. We're gonna break it down into 60 days. Okay, so let's say your 90 day action, let's say, your, let's say your 90 day goal is to lose two stone, okay? So what has to happen in 60 days in order for you to achieve your 90 day outcome, okay? So certainly the 60 days, <coughs> if weight loss is, if that weight loss is your goal, 60 days you're looking at over a stone loss, okay? So you need to write down now, 60 days, what has to happen in 60 days in order for you to achieve <coughs> your 90 day outcome. And again, you've got to try and go through your modalities, what does it look like, what does it feel like, who else is involved, etc. 